So for our next example procedure, we're going to do a forward-facing radar with a traditional radar cube. So I'll go down to that forward-facing radar and start that procedure. The home position screen will pop up. Always follow the on-screen instructions and graphics to ensure that you're in the proper location. You'll know this because the targets will go green on the wheels and we'll continue. Ultimate ADAS will go ahead and set its max height by itself. Once it's achieved max height, we'll go ahead and see what the clear space requirements are. So clear space will be indicated by the green line lasers and red dot lasers. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to need to mount that target. So I'll grab my remote stand, pull my target out of the drawer. Notice this target says 320, just like on the screen. I will mount the target in the remote stand and scan that QR code so that it can be indicated that we use the correct target on the printout. Now what we need to do is actually move the aligner out of the way because we will actually, in the Honda procedure, we'll be firing that radar. So I will go ahead and unplug Ultimate ADAS, release the handbrakes, and move it out of the way. Once we've moved the aligner, we'll use the scan tool to initiate the first part of the calibration procedure. Once that's completed, we'll go back to that home position. So again, I will grab those handles and release the brakes and bring my sensor tower back in front of the vehicle and plug the unit back in. The battery backup will typically last as long as you need it to, to move out of the way or into a new position. We're in that home position. Those two wheel targets are seen. We'll continue on. At this point, my red laser will come out indicating where I'm going to place the remote fixture. Next, I will measure the floor height. Laser will come out and blink measured the floor height. For target placement, I'll place the red laser dot on the remote stand and the green line laser along the red line. I will now need to aim the top of the remote stand in the general direction of the gimbal. I will release the stand and place that red dot in the circle on the remote stand and lock it down. Next, we'll take a measurement and if everything is in good shape, we'll go ahead and go to height. So we like the measurement on the remote stand. Now we simply need to move, disengage the brake on the remote stand and bring the red dot between the red line. and release the brake. Now that that's done, we'll go ahead and take one more measurement to confirm the height, and we'll move the sensor tower out of the way. Now that the sensor tower is out of the way, we will move to our scan tool to finish the procedure and complete the job. 